Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Synology NAS system. This is DS218 Play disk station with two bay uh, possibility of hard drives. Now you can place 3.5 inch uh, hard drives. As you can see, I have two Seagate Barracudas, two terabytes over here, and you can place uh, two two and a half inch hard drives or two uh, times two and a half inch SSDs. And it has a bracket as well for those smaller drives. So I decided to go with something a bit more convenient. And after all, you could do loads of stuff when you place your hard drives into this kind of systems uh, you could do file sharing you could do cloud sharing you could uh, manage your files with uh, well different applications uh, uh, from Synology as well so uh, let's first start with what I'm going to use today today we have the DS218 play disk station as I said and we have two Seagate Barracuda uh, two terabyte hard drives uh, that I usually used they're going uh, in this NAS system but let's open the box and let's check this out now this is it guys this is the uh, disk station that I was talking about and now you can see why I love this kind of stuff because it's it's not a gadget it's a technology it's really cool stuff and you could do loads of stuff with it let's go further So basically it's very easy to remove the uh, side case. I'm going to place it like this. As you can see, you have here a fan that cools your hard drives and this is really important. And it's a 92 times 92 size of the fan as well. Uh, as you can see, you have here all the ports that you need. Well, it's a SATA power and data uh, connector here that you use to of course make a right field or whatever you wish with the connectivity so basically you place your hard drives as so you connect them directly to the SATA data and power connectors and then you use this special screws that go for the uh, hard drives for your SSDs depending do you want some brackets for the uh, SSDs or a smaller 2.5 inch uh, hard drives or SSDs. It has an anti-vibration rubber here on each side so uh, when they spin and since they're very close together when they spin they don't create any vibration and extra noise that you might consider getting from uh, them usually now the second one it has a special leg so it holds the hard drive up on top above this one even though it's a small distance about uh, seven millimeters or five millimeters distance but you can see here that you could place the hard drive very easy like that it just goes in normally in the SATA data and power connector you have a nice Synology, Synology here logo on this side. You have nice rubber uh, pads, legs here at the bottom, as you can see right here as well. And the whole casing is matte black. And it does feel like it, so it's not a fake matte black. But okay, uh, you can see here these uh, hard drives are already placed. You have four screws on each side, so you can place two hard drives. You have here a three pin connector for your fan. And on the other side you have the right controller which you can't see because it's on this side of the case. Now let's place this together so we can talk a bit more about it. On the front you have four indicator uh, LEDs. One is for the status, one is for the L LAN and you have two indications for your hard drives. At the bottom you have power jack so you can connect your power cable and you have two USB 3.0 and the RJ45 uh, LAN connector. Now talking about some specifications, you do have uh, a CPU inside, it's a quad core uh, 1.4 gigahertz and no this is not for gaming, this is just for file transfer. Uh, its transcoding is 4K UHD uh, video and performance is 112 megabytes per second read and write. Now it's also an eco-friendly uh, system because when it's in hibernate mode it uh, is uh, using like 
5.16 watts and when it's in access mode when you have, when you can access your files it's up to 16.779 uh, uh, watts now you can access and stream your 4K me media uh, anytime, anywhere basically. With this disk station from Synology, you could stream your 4K UHD videos on your television, on your phone, on your tablets, whatever you wish and whatever you can. Now as I mentioned, Synology has different types of, let's say, stations that give you ability to manage everything depending on which type of file it is. So for instance, you have a video station that can manage and organize your videos, you have an audio station that can uh, manage and organize your audio files, and then you have uh, the photo station that you could uh, manage and organize all your photo and photo uh, albums. So this is really cool because it gives you more ability and not just a disk station that you just put your uh, for instance documents and photos and audio and video uh, files and you just keep them over there this gives you ability to manage them better and easier and plus that you have an integration with the mobile with the DS audio photo and video so you could adjust and you can ac actually access everything through your uh, mobile phone now talking about the specification I did say it has a quad core uh, processor with the 1.4 4 gigahertz. Uh, it also has one gigabyte of DDR4 memory, which is kind of advantage. And uh, going forward with the memory, because uh, older older disk station usually had DDR2 or DDR3, and uh, this way it's much faster to cache your documents and other uh, files. Now it doesn't support hot swap which I wouldn't say it's that bad, you just turn it off, you place a new hard drive that is in function and the, uh, all the documents, if you're into write one, uh, get mirrored to the next drive. So that's really cool. Now as for the possibilities of the writes and how you could connect your hard drives into one or separate or whatever, you have a Synology hybrid uh, right, you have basic, so you have uh, each disk separately, you have just a bunch of disks, and you have right zero, which means you combine two hard drives into one single volume and they uh, have uh, bigger speeds, and then you have right one, which mirrors uh, the hard drives into one single volume, but they have the same, uh, the volume has, for instance, if you go with two drives with 14 terabytes, you get one volume with 14 terabytes. In zero you get two hard drives in 40 terabytes but there are 28 actually combined and this is actually where it's going to stay because I don't have any problems uh, with the sound uh, currently it is transferring all my files from my past uh, hard drives uh, to this one well from my past disk station to this one and as you can see it has above 47,000 files so those are small small files like uh, music and documents and that kind of stuff later on I'm going to be transferring huge files for, for videos that I do usually on YouTube so I save every single one of them and it has uh, 1 hour and 20 minutes for uh, 300 gigabytes and it's transferring from uh, 95 to 120 megabytes per second so it varies a bit uh, depending on the file size but it still goes above the uh, speed uh, that they actually mentioned in their uh, sp uh, specification so this is actually really cool uh, the uh, whole thing about the accessing it through the web browser you see you have loads of uh, applications you have uh, all this uh, settings through the network how to share it, how to do it through your phone, you can access everything, every single uh, document uh, with that and that is extremely good. And this is definitely something uh, advanced compared to, well definitely every single other uh, disk uh, station or NAS or whatever you want to uh, call it and this is, this is something really cool. I'm really actually glad that I have this now and worked with their professional equipment uh, with servers uh, not their servers but servers and their uh, huge NAS storages uh, and I've always been satisfied with their functionality with their uh, intuition to create something that is advanced for your documents for your music videos photos 
everything all complete documents this is definitely uh, my warm recommendation so guys you have the links below and where to buy the uh, Synology disk station DS218 play this is a two bay NAS uh, for uh, ride one ride zero uh, JBOD or just a bunch of discs uh, and a special ride by Synology uh, that you could do even more uh, as you also saw, I placed two discs in the station and it automatically created the Synology Ride uh, one, so this is cool as well. Uh, that's all guys, thank you for watching, this was, uh, well, more like introduction to the product and some sort of uh, education for the Ride fields and for the disc stations and how to use it, how to adjust everything, uh, so yeah, I hope it helped. Uh, if you have uh, some questions, don't I don't mind answering any of them. So put the question down below in the comment section. Don't forget to check out Synology stuff. They're really, really uh, cool products. Uh, and yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye, guys.